let's just hope those sirens don't go off again while we record today. Oh, yeah. Last night, the sirens were just going off and on and off and on. Oh, all yeah, Gorbon was, like, frantically walking around. He was like, oh, if Mom's uh, letting you be awake, then I'm going to go watch my movie. <laughs> I'm like, you want on your gravestone that you died watching a movie? Welcome to Rocket Anywhere, the podcast where you listen to us speak to you and you wonder why you're not able to turn off the show. I'm Corban. Well, okay, I'm Sophia. Oh, uh, you just decided, like, I don't know who I want to be today. Well, yeah, I wanted to be... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to be I don't know. Okay, talking about opening up shows, last week on the podcast I opened up the show by trying to say Rocket Anywhere, and I completely failed. And this... What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, I tried to say, um, Hola y welcome to Rocket to Anywhere. I, I oh. failed. Anyway, right now, in editing, I'm going to insert an audio clip of how to say Rocket Anywhere in Spanish. Cohete a cualquier lugar. Our second and last piece of follow-up is that frogs... Uh, Do frogs have ears? For some reason I asked that. I don't know why. The answer is, frogs don't have external ears, but they do have ear holes located directly behind their eyes. Frog ear holes are covered with thin tympanic membranes or eardrums that protect the inner ear cavity and help transmit uh, sound vibrations. So, they're hidden ears. Thought of the week. Uh, Okay, so teachers say... You can't write an essay uh, overnight, and then on an exam they say, write an essay in two hours. Mm-hmm. And then the other one is, I wonder if I've ever been, like, you know how, like, you pay for money? I mean, pay for money. <laughs> where, what are you li- where are you living? <laughs> where are you no, paying for no, money? No, you know how you go somewhere and you pay for stuff because obviously nothing's free. Okay, this podcast okay. is free. All right, well, yeah, you don't have to go anywhere for this podcast, that's why. Have you ever wondered if you have ever had the same bill, like dollar bill, more than once? Yes. Like, you know, if you there, like, No, there is a website for this where you can track your dollar bill and see where it's being used across the country. Well, you remember that dollar bill that I got back at McDonald's? Like, I paid, and then I, I was supposed to get, like, a certain amount of change back. And uh, one dollar bill that I got back said happy birthday on it. <laughs> but it was because the person who gave it to the kid or whatever um, had written happy birthday on it. But I guess they used it, and so... I don't know. Yeah. Well, uh, two more things on that thing about tracking dollar bills. I don't know if it still exists. But we'll talk about it next week on follow-up. I'll research it over the week. Okay, so my thought of the week is, what's with the Easter Bunny? Okay, like, okay, one, parents, if your kids believe in the Easter Bunny, cover their ears. I'm doing three, two, Easter Bunny isn't real, okay? Along with Santa, Tooth Fairy, the Great Pumpkin... I don't think that ever existed in anybody's mind. I'm just trying to go through Charlie Brown shows in my head. What's with the Easter bunny? Why is it a bunny? Okay. And why is Easter associated with eggs? Like, I have I have jokes this week, yeah. and I search Easter jokes, and all every single one is, like, egg jokes. Yeah, it's, it's like, not about eggs. And wait, and hold up. If, if the bunny's carrying eggs, shouldn't it be a chicken with eggs? But then it would sort of not make sense, like, oh, look, the Easter chicken. And what the bunny's doing, isn't it technically considered littering because he's putting plastic eggs in government-owned parks? Or your own private property? And, you know, I I know we just got a new listener from a Redditor who said it was hard to find. Redditor. Yeah, who said it was hard to find good family-friendly podcasts. I'm sorry if this is the first episode you're listening to of our show. (laughs) Sorry. We just had to All Corban's ideas. None of these are my ideas. I just have to, like, prepare not at my own risk. Well, as I mean... We're, as we're talking about this, I completely <laughs> forgot. I planned this episode, uh, like, yesterday, and I didn't think of, think of it. 
we should be giving tips for covering Easter eggs and decorating them. Didn't you just say you're trying to like get rid of the Easter Bunny? Well, <laughs> if, if he if you can't beat him, be with them, as they say, or something like that. Okay, then the times we've done it at our grandma's house, the problem with the problem with Easter eggs and stuff is like the kids want to hide them, but then they can't go find them because they know where they are. Yeah. And I think remember, now that- remember we had that we only had one uh egg and it was um. You know those crackable ones? Oh, yeah, with the confetti and, inside. And, and everybody would go, like, one of us would go hide it, and then we'd all go look for it. But the problem was uh, me and Corbon would find it all the time because, you know, we had, like, better eye view. Public service announcement. I am dedicating it to you guys need to go help out Carter Wilkerson get free chicken nuggets for a year from Wendy's. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do that. Okay, so this guy, he tweeted Wendy's. Like, three days ago, as we were recording this, which is probably a week ago when you're hearing this. and no, asked two weeks. No, well, yeah, maybe. Anyway, regardless, sometime back in time from when you're hearing this, this a man named Carter Wilkerson tweeted uh, to Wendy's and says, Hey, how many retweets would I need to get a free year of chicken nuggets? And Wendy's response was, 18 million. And so he's like, consider it done. And then he sends a tweet like, it says, help me please, a man needs his nuggets. And he tweets this, and so far, at the time of this recording, it has 1.8 million tweets. We gotta help this guy get 15 million tweets. Or 18 million. I seem to have forgotten already. But, yeah. You mean, even Amazon, Google, and Google are tweeting out, uh, and Microsoft are like, come on, help this guy get some chicken nuggets for life. But uh, one His thing life though, isn't gonna be that long. Like, cause he tweeted this morning, he tweeted a picture of him eating uh, Wendy's chicken nuggets, and he's like, "Hopefully, the next time uh, these will be free." And then the CEO of T-Mobile responded, and says, uh, "Because he, the screenshot he posted was like, and he's like, hey, I see you're on AT and T. If you switch to T-Mobile, I will personally give you free chicken nuggets for one year from any place.' So I'm like, hey, that's a good deal. But then you gotta start, gotta start moving over. Anyway." Help this guy out. Link in the show notes at rta.space slash 27 to get the link to retweet and help Carter. Now on to learn of the word. And in PBS Kids, Learn of the word. Learn of the word. Learn of the word. We could do three, two. I don't know what we're singing. We're we're singing. Word of the week. Here we go. Word of the week. Word of the week. Rock it anywhere. Word of the week. I so messed up. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, thank you. Come back. Buy our merch <laughs> at the again, tables. Come again, just not today. We're the we're best out. band ever. <laughs> Remember that? Come again, just not today. Oh, yeah, Remember come again, just not today. <laughs> anyway, yeah. today's word of the weekday, uh, by week, fortnight, is furfy. Furfy. F U R. with Murphy. P H Y. Like Murphy, but with a F. Furfy is Australian slang for. I knew it was Australian. <laughs> to those Australians in their words, it's a word. F- uh, that's a, it's a word for an animal. Let me let me describe it. You would think it was like a furry animal or something. No, no. it's not a furry animal. Yeah, it's not. It's not an animal at all. A furfy is Australian slag for an erroneous slag? or improbable story that is claimed to be factual. Furfies are supposedly heard from reputable sources, sometimes secondhand or thirdhand, and are widely believed until discounted. So it's basically to be modern with the times, fake news. I d- totally modern di- fake news, <laughs> like did- all news. It, furfy, that's furfy. Now you can there should say be a, a news network called Furfy. <laughs> like you, okay. Next time someone says fake news, you should just say no, no. It's Furfy. Was it by the news company Furfy? No, it's. Oh, it says the word is said to derive from water carts designed and made by a company established by John Furfy of Sherpton, Victoria. The steel and cast iron tanks were first made in the 1880s and were used on farms and by stock agents. I have no idea what a water cart is. Okay. Yeah, that'll be follow-up stuff because... Australians. You said not to trust Wikipedia, and that was from Wikipedia. Yeah, that was from Wikipedia. Now on 
to everyone's favorite part what is of it? every single show. What is it? Drum rolls. Joke time. You go first. Wait, no, you go first. Are you sure? Yes, go first. Okay, once a month, I pull all of my jokes from the Adventures in Odyssey. No longer Adventures in Odyssey. From the Clubhouse, Focus on the Family Clubhouse magazine. This is one of those months. Sometimes they're not that great, but they're written by fellow kids. Why did the birds build a fire? IDK. Because they wanted to catch a few worms. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. What happened to the Easter Bunny when he misbehaved in school? I haven't the foggiest idea. Oh, come on. You know this. Uh Uh-uh. I might be. He got expelled like you. What? Expelled? Egg spell. Oh, egg spell. Then it matters I, how you I've, spell it. I've never been expelled. Okay, that's enough. Okay, jokes. drummer, quiet no, down no, back no, no, there. No. I did three jokes in one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Why did the cell phone wear glasses? A D E K. You don't even know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because it lost all of its contacts. Contact information. Oh, did you hear about the lady whose house was infested with Easter eggs? She had to call an egg terminator. Okay. It's it's taking the egg puns too far. Yeah. How does a nose exercise, especially Corban's nose? He got atomic (laughs) ashy. No. Oh, it, that was the wrong question. Oops. It, no, it runs. It does. Oh, run, run, run. Yeah, it runs, it runs. Mine is running, not runs. No, mine ran. Past yeah. tense. Yeah, ran. It's not running. Mine ran. will run. I don't think mine will run. Mine is running. You're just going to run red. What day does an Easter egg hate the most? Fridays. Oh, I love Fridays. Sunny Not because side. of eggs. I hate eggs. I don't or eat scrambled. eggs. Or scrambled. She used to be allergic to eggs. Yeah. Eggs. eggs. <laughs> to eggs. <laughs> to egg. Allergic to egg. No, I, I was allergic to eggs, and then Mango. when I was four years old, I wasn't anymore. But like when I tried them, they tasted like foam. So yeah. I'm not allergic. And to yes, anything. I have eaten foam before. The only thing I'm and grass. And yeah, I've eaten styrofoam. And pencil. And toilet paper. Wait, well, you know what? We shouldn't say what we're actually allergic to because then people could kidnap us. But I'm not allergic to, to anything. I am. What are you allergic to? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, yeah, you're allergic to medicine. Okay, last joke for me and then last joke from Sophia. What's a bat's favorite dessert? Mm, no, don't. Don't, don't, Joe. Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. An upside down cake. You mean like lemon twist upside down? What was it? Pineapple you know, pi- upside down pineapple cake. Pineapple upside down cake, yeah. Why was the little girl sad after the race? Because she didn't perform excellently. Maybe. Well, yeah, that's actually why. Let's move on to Today I Learned. I finally have one. Yes, you do after whatever it is episodes. Year. After a whole year. Yes, go finally ahead. I finally have one. Did you know that a baby octopus is about the size of a flea when it's born? I did not know that, and that does not that that makes him sing. Picture so right here, in case you want to see. see. Boom! I will post this picture in the show notes for you to see. You actually can't see because the words all over it, but okay. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Mine today I learned is uh, something I learned also, coincidentally. From the Clubhouse magazine is that books are created so that even numbers, even numbered pages, are on the left side, and odd numbered pages are always on the right side. Well, so the book I'm reading is not like that. So unless it's a Japanese book or something. No, so mine's written by. Uh, well, the thing is, most textbooks are like know. that because the point of this is: so if you're in school and your teacher calls page 268, you'll know that it'll be on the left side of the book. It'll be the left page. It's great to know when you have to get somewhere fast and you know a page number. Okay, my why why this week, the why why oh why, is uh, about directions while cooking. Okay, this happens to be 
every single time happened to me today. If you're cooking, okay, the example from this morning is I was cooking corn dog, okay? I took out the box, put the corn dog in a plate, put the box back in the freezer, put the corn dog in the microwave. I did the same thing. And I didn't know how long I was supposed to cook it. Yeah, me too. So I went back to the freezer. Do you freezer. know, okay, I literally cook everything, like, I'm not joking, macaroni, corn dogs, hot dogs, cooks- anything that has to be cooked in the microwave, I literally cook it for one minute, everything for one minute, no matter what it is. And I cook it for one minute, that's it. That's the story it. of getting laughamonia. Yes, maybe that's why. Okay, so I baked a cake sometime in the past, okay? And while I took the contents out of the box and threw the box in the recycling, okay? Then I was like, wait, what ingredients do I need? So I went to the recycling, got the trash, the box out, read it, put it back in the recycling, finished mixing everything, put it in the oven, and then didn't know how long I was supposed to cook it. So I went back and got the box again. It's like, <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Have, have, have. Yes, have. You ever tried a corn dog inside of a milkshake? That is a good idea. Boom, you see what Instagram does to me? But we ideas. don't have bananas. We're out of bananas. You Maybe we'll get some tomorrow. You can make a milkshake out of ice cream. Yeah, but the it's banana... It's called the Wendy's way, you know, frosty. <laughs> <The> <laughs> you just keep turning, turning, turning until it turns into milkshake. It's the Wendy's way. Yeah. No, it's... it's... Wendy, give me some free frosties because I said that. <laughs> Yeah, that no, that's your thing. You get me one retweet <laughs> for for a year of frosties. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our topics for this week. We have just one. Shouldn't be pluralized. It should be topic. But uh, this week's topic is what is something we always wanted when we were younger, but now that we're older, we wonder why would we ever want that? Grand, I still want everything. Everything. But there has to be something that you wanted a long time ago that you didn't want. That like you're like thinking to yourself, why would younger me want that? I was telling her earlier. I'm telling you, she doesn't believe me. When she was eight years old, and when the Friends Lego set came out, not Friends the TV show, Friends the Lego division came out, she was like, "Oh, I want that. I want that Lego dollhouse." No, I didn't want it for that. Grant, I wanted it because there was a carriage with wheels that didn't have rubber all over them that wouldn't collect dust. Yeah, but if wheels don't have rubber, they don't churn. They just slide. That's the problem with Legos. That's why I never got it, see? <laughs> <laughs> when when I was younger, I the thing I always wanted was a piano. Like, a grand piano. I don't know why, because I didn't know how to play piano. I still don't know how to play piano. I don't know how to read sheet music. I used to know how to read sheet music. and Read sheet music? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I know how to read sheet music. Yeah, I, I, I used to. It's called to. the music notes with the letter on top of it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I used to do that. I would get the hymnals, and I would write on top of the note the letter, and then on the on the little plastic piano I had, because I, I, I despised the plastic when I wanted a big, huge one. Even though I wondered now, like, how would I even get that in this house? <laughs> Where would there be room? But I would put little plastic um, pieces of tape over my key on the keyboard and write with Sharpie what key it was. So it's like A, B, C, D, and so on. And then I would read the sheet music with, like, a permanent marker over the note telling me what letter it was. That's how I used to do it. And the other things I wanted was like an MP3 player. Even though I've gone back into that summer, I'm like, maybe I should get an MP3 player. I was looking at the iPod Shuffle the other day. I was like, is it worth it? Is it? So there's nothing that you wanted when you were younger that you don't wonder why you don't want it now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening. If this is your first time, please subscribe. And you can find the best way for you to subscribe on your iPhone, iPad, Android, Netflix, Netflix, what am I even talking about? Uh, Your Kindles, whatever it is. We are everywhere except Spotify. You can find out how to get there at rta.space slash listen. That's the letters R-T-A period S-P-A-C-E forward slash listen. And peoples, follow me on Instagram at extra underscore Sophia. S-O-F-I-A, not S-O-P-H-I-A. Yes, you know, we should need to clarify that because maybe that's why... 
That's you know. That's why I don't get followers. That's why we don't get feedback Boom. because people think it's S O P H I A. Wait, I want to see who actually has that. Let me see. You know, we should check that. Maybe we've been getting tons Extra. of feedback and we never see it. Underscore. So, how do you spell Sophia? S O P H I A. While she's re- while she's researching that. Oh no, it can't be this person. Why they only have they only have twenty one followers. I just asked myself why. Okay, anyway, please review us on <laughs> iTunes. If you have any suggestions, extra send them Sophia, to read at bio. extra Don't underscore. Don't follow this account. Sophia. You can email you know us. I'm just going to be a rebel and follow it. No, I'm kidding. Rocket to anywhere show at gmail.com if you have oh, any feedback. Oh, Rocket Anywhere for us. has that Instagram. Yeah, you can follow it on Instagram, although I don't post anything important there. Just like. Well, you can do. You can follow me, extra underscore Sophia, and then. With an F. Go. Yes. And then you can go to uh, following and then just type in Rocket. Yeah, but it'd be easier to search Rocket to Anywhere on Instagram well, because we're the first search result. No, we're not. There's that band, though. There is a band. If you just type in Rock on my following, I'm, that's like the only thing that comes up. You can see the show notes for this week's episode, any of the pictures you mentioned, memes, jokes, rta.space slash 2727. And you can watch our videos, which, like, they're two, and they're really not that great anymore now that I see them, at youtube.com slash RTA space. You can follow me on Twitter at Corbon Garcia, and as we overstated already, Sophia at extra underscore Sophia. S-O-F-I. Well, no, on Twitter it's extra Sophia. Yeah. No underscore. Yeah, we gotta get around to fixing that. Well, that's all for today. And as always, this, this rocket, rocket has, has landed. landed.